Hello there, Internet. My name's White Dragons, and welcome back to Automate. Now, it's been a couple of days since I last uploaded a video, and there's been a good reason why. I've done a hell of a lot of stuff, and I'll get over that shh 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 sh sound in just a minute. Uh, this is going to be a quick one because I've got to go to work, unfortunately. But I decided I need to go ahead and break open this real quick. So, humble beginning. I went to the Undervoid Awakening, and unfortunately, it sent me to the Nether. When it sent me to the Nether, guess who found out? that I was in the nether Lord Dalmar and apparently Lord Dalmar says that um, <clears throat> I'll show you real quick right here uh, I know I asked you to go to the nether but Lord Dalmar found out and wasn't happy he says unspeakable evils can come through the portal I'm not sure I believe that anyway I'll keep trying to convince him of his resources for resources I haven't touched this one and I had what is this one it's a dangerous world out there, we know, but some sort of magic you always seem to come back after death. Yeah, you've died zero out of one time in the nether. That was total bullshit. So there's a penalty for dying in the nether, and there's no reward. You just take the penalty. Again, these are all negative reputations, and I'm trying my best to keep my reputation high because we have these repeatable quests that can restart over. Uh, I also found out that I don't use the scoop to catch butterflies, so I'll be looking into that. Uh, a lot of stuff has opened up. Uh, oh, goodness. I have lit up the entire area. Let me pop up in the map here, which I think is this. No. No, no, no. Hold on. I had to remap everything here. No. Okay. This one? No. What freaking button is it? This is this one. Hello? What's wrong with my map? Okay, well, fine, 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 be that way. Here, options, control, what button is it? Map writer, next waypoint, next group, number six, yeah, I got that. Oh wait, you know what? I know why, because I've got it keyed, uh, number keyed to my, uh, to the number block, number lock. So this entire area has been lit up so that zero zombies, creepers, spiders, skeletons can actually come and attack the villagers, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I did get a tree farm going. It is a manual tree farm right now. I did change up a lot of the, um, like I built this. This isn't kind of my design. I didn't really have anybody else to fall on. Uh, but what it is basically is it's, it's the mixture between the village farm that you see a lot of people build without the spawner underneath or the uh, doors underneath and basically it's got this one has two doors on each side so that's four eight ten and then there's two doors on each side of this which would make 12 and the other side's got four so there'd be 14 doors and I've lost so many villagers because I didn't light up the place. I was expecting just to go to sleep and get back up. That uh, I lost a lot of villagers. But good news is is that the villagers respawn themselves. So in addition, I made this one, which is kind of a little different than that one. The door placement's kind of a little weird, but eh, it's okay. Balcony's pretty good. It's where a lot of my, my attention's been going to. I love the chisel mod. It's so awesome. And this is one of the new villagers that we got. He has a nuke virus. I'm not exactly sure what that does, but it's going to be very interesting to see what I can do with that. And then it may, I may not be able to. Uh, we got this little bad boy, the Rock Crusher, from a quest, which I believe is Turning the Pipes, I think? Yeah, Turning Pipes. Uh, finally turned in all the sand, thank God. The thing I'm working on now is gravel. So what happens is I've got the... Uh, Ignis extruder off for right now, but it'll create cobblestone and I'm using cobblestone uh, uh, Stone transport piping to just manually bring it to here and I think this takes 15 or 20 RF per tick to uh, Grind down the gr uh, cobblestone and turn it into gravel. So once I have 15, I think I did the math right 15 of these I'll be able to turn that in uh, That noise you're hearing Ugh, the noise you're hearing is this little contraption, the Hobbist Steam Engine. 
I am very interested in knowing what other types of engines there are. I got the redstone energy cell off one of the quests. As you see, it's just directly ported into the rock crusher. I could probably just adjust it where the steam engine was going into there. But eventually, once this is over, I want this to be powered. And I'm also using this as backup power as well. Uh, the culinary generator I did create on my own. It took forever, but I got it done. Screwed up along the way a lot, but uh, carrot juice is, is its current running. Uh, I did create a pulverizer, even though you do get a pulverizer for free. And this is a rolling machine which I used to create the. What was it? I created something with the rolling. I don't remember what it is now. I did make the. Um, the crafting benches. I'm going to figure out how to use them and, and use them to great advantage. Uh, over here, I don't know if I remember if I showed you or not, but I have my ore berries. Every time I collect a berry in the world, I bring it over here. So this is my ore berry. Uh, this is actually <clears throat> this is not working for some reason. Uh, this is actually supposed to. Uh, So what's supposed to happen here is when you, you have cobble son of a bitch. I did it anyway. Uh ow! Oh no, that's not that's not hurting. It's supposed to activate all of the It's a pumpkin design, but the problem is, is that this... Okay, let me back up so I can get this right. All right, so pumpkins are all... Oh! And I don't have my talk with me. Son of a gun, hold on. By the way, if you notice, we're extremely fast. It's because of the mic fit that is not in the mod pack as of today. Uh, as of this time, it's not in the mod pack. So... Um, you know, don't be like, oh, you're cheating. No, I have the my fit uh, mod in here, which I think needs to be in here because it's kind of like techno. <clears throat> excuse me, it's technology, and Lord Talmar wants technology. <laughs> All right, put this back so I can talk about this. Okay, so what's supposed to happen is when this thing grows. Okay, maybe I can do it like this. Oh, it's already gone. Okay. When this thing grows, it's supposed to push the pumpkins over, which will break them, and it's going to go into this hopper um, minecart. And I found this. I can't remember the name, but you can type in uh, 1.8 uh, pumpkin pumpkin farm. You can uh, find it, and what it does is this hopper will come here. Uh, this hopper will systematically pick them all up, but the problem is, is uh, the the pumpkins don't always go. Like, okay, I'll show you. So we we'll put these pumpkins back, right? Okay, so once this pumpkin hits down on that dirt block, it will send the redstone signal from the repeater to the redstone, which will activate all the other pistons, which we got from the quest line. And I was so stupid, I should have said, you know what, I, if it counts the pistons that I create, I can just put slime on the pistons that I've already created, and it should make um, sticky pistons. Well, I made sticky pistons and regular pistons, because I was so afraid it wouldn't count, or it would take it away. So, just a quick hint, the pistons count when you create them, and then if you put sticky, or if you put slime balls on them, they count as sticky pistons as well. Um, anyways, <clears throat> so what's supposed to happen is once this uh, this uh, pumpkin goes down, it's supposed to do that, and then the hopper cart hopper cart will gather these up. Sometimes they gather them, sometimes they don't, and then when that goes away, it's supposed to do that. See, it went away. Now they're already growing back. Look at there. Sometimes it's not a hundred percent. It's not a hundred percent. I don't know why it doesn't catch them all sometimes. Um, it's really weird, and, but it's the only way right now I know of getting a... Uh, right, this one's stuck in limbo somewhere, so it must be on the ground. Um, it's the only way I know of getting pumpkins right now. 
because I don't want to stand there and, and manually do it. So we'll just pump these right here. See the hopper cart picks them up. Oh yeah, done. I'm thinking that because there's there's a there's no wall right here, it's possibly doing it. So I may adjust that later on. Um, what else? What else? What else have I done today, or done in the past couple of days? I should say. The birds are are up. If you can't tell, they're excited. Oh yes. Uh, it is this one. Uh, so I've gotten the I've gotten a couple quests done, which is pretty nifty. Uh, a lot of it. What are you doing out? Who told you you could get out? Animals are escaping the barn for some reason. For some reason, this is all the stuff I've got in the Nether. However, in the Nether, if you don't know this, the pigmen and the gas and everything else in between uh, really hate you when you try to take their stuff, and they kill you. So, yeah, there's that you gotta be weary of. There's something else I want to show you. Ah, yeah. I found a, a slime island, and I had some liquid... Uh, at first I tried the... What were they? I got it here, because I tried it, and I was so pissed. Oh, was I so pissed. I tried... Uh... I tried the... No, no, no. It's one of these. It's it's either this one. Yeah, it's gotta be this one. I tried to build craft tank, but it won't hold them when I break it. So I know that the open blocks, because I've played Attack of the B Team, uh, will hold any item that I break. So that's what I did. Is I pretty much uh, got an open block tank, got got my uh, my iron bucket, and traveled all the way back and um, got some uh, blue slime water. So I'll eventually turn that into a um, a farm, hopefully. Uh, I tore down the Thumbnomicon or the the Thumbicon, uh, tower because it was kind of getting in the way of the um, things we talked about this episode three, I think. Uh, this has been addressed, so that's pretty cool. Um, what else? What else? What else? Um. Not a hundred percent sure if I showed you. Uh oh, I know, I know what else I can show you. So not only did oh, oh shit, not only did I go to the Nether, but I also started making my new weapons. Uh, as you see here, we've got what's called I call it the White Dragon. Uh, it's pretty nice. I'm a master of it, and the reason why I'm a master of it is because of the XP farm and going in here. I finally. Ooh. Got started in here, and uh, wow, wow, is there a lot of stuff in here? There's a lot of room in here. I'm still debating on whether or not, oh boy, whether or not, um, just building in here and moving everything into here. I think that would be kind of cool, I guess, but it's a huge, huge area. What the hell? I mean, I could plant every, I could just like put everything in here, literally. And look at all this stuff. We got a woodworker for extra, extra trees. <clears throat> a panel worker. We've got the thermal expansion workbench. We've got the glass worker. The auto workbench. We got all kinds of stuff in here. It's pretty awesome. I already know how to make that. I'm not worried about that. But there was some kind of maybe the mob author wants us to automate stuff. But I'm not 100% sure how this would, this junction would work. Like, there's some machines missing here. I know that. And there's probably some machines missing here. And I haven't seen any power sources. Uh, what I mean is, is I haven't seen, like... Like, we know this powers lights, okay? We know that. And it's using a redstone signal to power the lights. But how, did you, how do you power the machines? Um, so that's pretty interesting. I did explore upstairs a little bit. Uh, I got some holes filled because they were just dropping in on me. Um, I did find a chest in the storage area. The problem is, is that it was booby trapped and this is the outcome of it. So, if you're playing this mod and you go in here, or this mod pack, and you go in here, be aware that there are booby traps everywhere. Uh, there's also a zombie that's got a, got a name on it. I'd love to show it to you, but, um... He's up here somewhere, and uh, he's on the second floor. 
excuse me, and his quest it is uh, the very bottom. <clears throat> Power struggle. And it's basically Edmund. When you pass by Edmund, it seemed he was muttering something that sounded like Dalmar Larry shut down blast furnaces. You'll see Edmund because he has his... Oh, you little bastard. How dare you come into my factory? How dare you? Get the hell out of here. Yeah, one shot wonder, baby. Um, let me close this up. Um, but, uh... Oh, you don't. Oh, this sword so much. Okay, good. Um, but it's, it's, uh, man, it's just like, that's a huge factory. I don't, I have no, uh, 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 no. Uh oh, fight, fight, fight. Who will win? Who will win? I am the tiger. Ow, what the fuck? I was watching a fight, damn it. Get him. Get him, bro. Get him. Teach him a lesson. Show him what for. Yeah. Nope, nope. You're not shooting me. Get out of here. Oh, I love this weapon. Love it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be so excited to see what the Black Dragons one does. I named one Black Dragons, too. A little history for you. Black Dragons was my original... Um, Actually, my original World of Warcraft name was... Hey, are you stuck? Are you okay? Oh, you're out. There we go. Uh, my original World of Warcraft name was going to be Yellow Dragons <laughs> because Red Dragons was taken. And um, a friend of mine named Cloud, who no longer plays, uh, said, you should really change your name because it sounds like you're a chicken dragon. And I was like, ah, oh, yeah, it's a possibility. He said, you should play a paladin too. So I went and played a paladin and loved it. I was playing a warlock at the time. Uh, loved the warlock build still today. There's always two, three, four. Whoa! Is it daytime? It can't be daytime. Little trick, if you didn't know. If you type in clock in the NAI. Yeah, it's completely night and these idiots are outside. And uh, let me show you. If you type in clock, you can see in the NAI, it manually moves over for you. Clockwork engine, huh? Interesting. Enter your gate. Ooh, that should be interesting too. Uh, you can see a clock and get a free timeline. By the way, we have uh, moved up in our. Let me keep the button. Moved up in our in our in my fit. I now have resistance, and I think I had. I didn't have strength. I can't remember. But we now have resistance, and that's just from getting hit by. Zon oh, no, it's from being on for so long. So. I really like it. I know, I know a lot of people are going to be like, that's not fair, that's cheap. <laughs> you die. <laughs> killing um, <laughs> zombies and stuff and whatnot. And the reason, oh, good direction. You're a big one. Get out of here. The reason why is because these are repeatable quests and you can get repeatable items off of it. So, yeah, there's that. Um, there's nothing that's pretty much changed here. By the way, my sword has uh, fury on it, fairy on it, fiery on it. I think it's fiery. Is it fiery? Let me look. Yeah, fiery. So anytime I like use it on sand, it instantly turns to glass. If I use it on cobblestone, it turns it into smooth. Uh, what used to be called smooth stone, now just called stone. Nothing's really changed here. Uh, this is pretty much where I've been guaranteeing my my level ups on my weapons. Um, I did, I do, however, have one little problem. Uh, this thing can massively produce um, zombies, skeletons, and whatnot. But I would also like it to produce, like, creepers and stuff like that. So I'm trying to figure out a way to do that. Um, I'm also trying to figure out a way to uh, get a. Get a. Um, I'll get it out and see. Uh, witches. Witches are kind of ki are kind of not a nu are nuisance to me right now, but more importantly, um, I need them to uh, help me get more redstone because going to the nether is actually quite possibly the uh, craziest thing you could possibly do um, as it stands right now uh, because there's so much stuff that wants to kill you the moment you touch a rock. A rock. 
a brock a block there we go uh what else let me show you this uh this this uh quest for excuse me for one moment yeah, yeah. um i haven't gotten spider one yet let me show you the quest for the uh nether portal so you can see where it's at whoa Did I have a double jump? I didn't know I could do that. Do you see that? I just double jumped. No, no double jump. Okay. Oh, oh, I heard a spider. Come here. Yeah. So, uh, also, how did you get? Uh, I know they're gonna be asking. How did you get? Um, you know, I've got one that's got iron, and I've got one that's got mastery not mastery obsidian and uh this one eventually i've been been very very fortunate uh, um jive, jive. uh i've been very fortunate with uh excuse me come on here we go with uh getting iron off of the zombies oh yeah this wall's working pretty good just gotta make it look a little bit better um and that's how i've been repairing my tools mostly Oh my goodness, look at you, you big baby. Oh, get out of here. Don't get no oil, pig. It's bad for you. Anyways, uh, that's how I've been repairing my tool. My, my sword, mostly. That's why I'm so gallant with it. <clears throat> because, as you saw, I've been getting iron from all of the zombies. This is still protected. Can't get in it. Anyways, if we take a look at the quest book here, and I, like I said, I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because i got to go to work. Uh, it says, I believe we have found our first method of obtaining more resources. However, it's very dangerous. That's why I'm secretly asking you to be the first. Uh, and it says, enter the fortress front gate, past the main entrance to the back wall, closest to the volcano. Once there, dig into the wall on the left side to reveal an elevator. So the volcano is right over this tree line here. And then I dug right here. And then there's the elevator. You go down, there's a secret entrance. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, they give you a fire charge once you visit it. Another portal. Uh, use the fire charge to activate the portal. And then you activate the portal, and lo and behold, the portal starts up, and you're like, oh, this is so cool! I'm sure you're going to take this. Um, I'm actually thinking about making my own portal and shutting this one down once I've gathered all the resources off of it. But I gotta be very careful because portals, you know, interlock with each other. You gotta be careful about that. Oh, we already have an asshole. Okay. Uh, I leave, I've left this open and I've left this portion open so I can see things around me. But, uh, everything's in cobblestone because obviously you have the gas that love to shoot you the moment they see you. Um, so I did some exploring. Um, and like I said, anytime you break, actually, watch. You got that crap. That happened a lot. I'm not, I'm not 100 sure why. But you have that that happens. It's like all oh, shit's all booby trapped or something. Um, but what I was actually interested in is you hear. I can take the hit. Oh, I can't take the fire! I can't take the fire! I can't take the fire! Ah. Ow, 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 stop, 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 Ah! Ah! I don't know why. Someone explain to me why shit's booby trapped in the nether. Damn it. Must be well, most of the time you can hear like a pigman or that asshole in the background. Starts yeah. Oh, what the hell? Oh no! That's a fire bat. That just exploded on me. Okay, I need to take a minute. Let me get inside my little safety hut. Uh, did I bring food? No. Okay, I'm gonna die here. Suck. This thing suck. Um, I guess it's fine. All right, real quick before I wind up dying, I 
went ahead and got some cobblestone, built up some cobblestone, not touching that just yet. And as you can see, we can go through here, and right across is the nether fortress, which, can you see that? Okay, it's bright, so you can see it. I just can't because I have a glare on my computer screen right now. On my monitor, it's so hard, can't see. So the nether forts are in the works eventually, and once I have them balls enough, I'll actually try to go through here. But if anybody knows how I can not be blown up in the nether, please let me know in the comments down below. That'd be great. Um, and I have some ideas for these, uh, for these, uh, for these wonderful nether deck. I don't know. But as you can see, the portal is open, so, um, I had to block it off the dirt because I was having pigmen come in and out. And once, once you break some of their, some of their ores, they pretty much remember you for a while, and they come after you. They actually chase you completely. And that's not cute, because when they come in through the portal at mass herds, it's kind of difficult to fight them off. So, yeah. Now you see why I have the MyFit. MyFit plus my sword pretty much one shots, which is pretty nice. Because uh, the sword does, what, seven heart, seven attack damage? Uh, has a total of four hearts of damage per swing. So, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, I can get that up with more modifiers. I don't know if I want to or not just yet. So, we will see. Um, I did add another mod in. Uh, the chunk. I did not spell that right. One chunk. Yes, I added the chunk loader from Chicken Chunks. Or Chicken Bone, actually. Uh, this is going to take me a while because... You ready for this? Why? Why would you put this in? And you ready? This is how you make it. <coughs> I, I literally am choking. <coughs> Enderman block. Flux crystal block. How do you make flux crystal blocks? Well, you gotta have flux crystals. Where do flux crystals come from? Well, flux crystals come from when you add destabilized redstone to... Is it... No. No, it doesn't really tell you, does it? I thought it was this way. Yeah. Yeah. You take... No. Is that right? I can't remember. Anyways. Why? Why would you change that recipe? Come on. I know, Lord, unless there's something in, like, here where they give us, a, like, a freaking enchanting book or enchanting table, which is cool. Yeah, they see they give us one. Yeah, but I have to make it. Please understand, Lord Dalmar's main enchanting table is very hard to get a hold of for good reasons, too, as they are stepping stones for dark magic. You know, I'm getting a little sick and tired of Lord Dalmar, be honest with you. It's always make things harder, do this, do that. I mean, look at this. I should go shut that off. That sounds like it's going to blow up. That steam engine's really weird. No, it's in orange, so we're okay. It's in orange, so we're all right for now. Okay, but look at this. Okay, I want you to see this. All right, so humble gears, right? So I made this one. No, I didn't make this one. I made... I got all this done, right? And you're like, yay! That's great! That's superb! And then you got fluid transfer. And you're like, oh, wow! We can have fluid pipes. Pipe sealant. Okay? This is the next thing I have to work on. You ready for this? Seal sealant. I need beeswax. How does one... Oh, wait. What is this? Cactus green? Cactus makes... Okay. If there was a desert around here, that would be great. But there's no desert around here, so I'm totally screwed. So I have to... I, I have to go into the bee business next, so that's going to be kind of interesting. But look at that. What? Give us... Just give us a break! Damn it! So, I have to make all this, and I'll get plus 25 ranking... And look, I'll get uh, ender, I'll get an ender tank, or I can get an ender thermal pump, which I'm th thermic pump, which I'm thinking I'm gonna go for that because I have no idea what the hell this is. It's creepy, whatever it is. Uh, but I think I'm gonna go for this one because it's an actual pump, 
and I don't have a way of pumping liquids right now. There's a pump. There's a regular pump. So I don't know if that's going to pump liquids or if that's going to pump. I don't know. I don't know, man. But it's you'll have to attach pipes to move liquids around. See, most machines don't have a place where you can put a bucket to get fluids in or out. You'll have to attach pipes to move the liquids. These are so difficult. Not difficult, but you got to have that damn sealant. So, and look, I'm telling you right now, look at the map. There's no, I, this is how far I've gone out. There's no desert anywhere. I thought maybe over here there would be a desert. No. I, I started traveling over here. There's no desert over here. No. There's no desert right there, trust me. So it's like, okay, so now i got to get into the bee business. So that's going to be the next step. Hey, chicken, what the hell are you doing? You can't just roam around freely. Maybe you're a pet chicken to somebody. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, still thinking about what I'm going to do about the villagers, whether I'm not going to make a village farm. And once again, I am back to rethinking about what am I going to do with the factory. Am I going to keep the factory? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's one of those weird things that I am not 100% sure about just yet. So, but that's it, guys. That's what I've been up to. Uh, I know there's not a lot of things going on, but like I said, these these particular quests were done. This one, this one's being worked on. Uh, this one is also being worked on. <laughs> oh, God. There's so much redstone needed. Where am I going to get all this redstone from? Huh? 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 Where am I going to get this redstone from? I've got this one going. Hopefully this one will be done. Uh, that's the rock crusher, which I got from here. Just to repeat real quick. Uh, the mossy cobblestone. I don't know how I'm going to do the mossy cobblestone. I really don't. Oh, that's going to be so... I, don't, I, there, I, I think there's a way to do it with a machine. I can't remember. And I do not know if the igneous extruder will actually use lava to create smooth... Or to create stone. Uh, so... Yeah, if my pick had fire, fury on it, fairy on it, whatever, uh, that would be something to do. I may um, record this one because this one's going to be pretty cool. We get a quarry, which doesn't do anything in a world where there's poor man's ore. So there's that agrarian uh, remunition. Oops, agrarian remunition. Um, there's no forest around here so where 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 could i possibly get that oh a culinary generator oh how great i can get another culinary generator wonderful um and this one's being worked on it's just gonna be impossible because i don't have technology to do it and i haven't found melons yet so there's that uh requires what requires one out of one quest to be completed Ooh, that's interesting. I wonder what that that's gonna give me. This is a slime one, isn't it? Ooh. Uh, industrial warfare. We've pretty much this is repeatable. Once we kill the zombies again, it'll reset. Skeletons, same way. Not sure about the wither just yet. We're working on the creepers as you saw, and the spiders that you just saw. Reputation rewards. This resets after three days, so that's pretty cool. We are dependable. But every time we use uh, Unforgivable Axe, we lose reputation. As you see right here, we lose 5 reputation for every time we use... Like, I lose reputation every time I die in the nether. Messed up. Messed up. I could easily get these done, but again, they're negative reputation for building this stuff. World Anchor. Thinking chunks of the world loaded only... Using the remains of an Enderman. That sounds fishy to me. Something magical must be going on. Maybe there's a mechanical method. World anchor. How do you, wait a minute, how do you make the... I, uh, I'll do that off camera. I'm sorry. I get really interested once I get to start start talking to you. Uh, Industrial Warfare we already talked about. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That's all there is. So, yeah, that's... that's uh, this, this mod pack is going to be one where if you're playing it... You're going to have to be on it, and you're going to have to be doing some work with it. So, guys, thanks so much for watching. Likes and comments are greatly appreciated. As always, you do this for fun, not for profit. Um, let me know down below why the, he oh, why the hell do I always seem to um, get explosions in the nether? Maybe there's something I'm missing. 
uh, maybe uh, I'm not doing something right or something like that um, just let me know down below what I'm doing wrong um, if there's some maybe there's a device I'm supposed to use now or something I don't know you guys you guys know more than me like I said I think I've mentioned this before I'm not really good with mod packs like this because I don't have a lot of experience in just one particular one I dive into all of them and I really need to just dive into one and I'm thinking I'm gonna start with the bees dive into the bees off camera get that all situated then come back and show you so maybe maybe that's and I'm still I'm still thinking about and I know I keep saying this but I'm still thinking about what I'm gonna do with the factory um, I've been reading on the forums where a lot of people have been using the factory to uh, to live in but it's always been like one or two people per se and a lot of people have been living <clears throat> in the village so I don't know I don't know I don't know I'm still worried because initially once you set up everything uh, you really really just want to start you know ballsy to wall there's a lot of room in there a lot of room over here and Lord Dalmar can is starting to piss me off because he's making things difficult and that's not cool all right I'll talk to you guys later bye bye